I spend a record high of $150 on Shop Goodwill on this baseball card lot. Do you think it'd be worth it? Let's find out. What is up everyone? Today we've got an exciting one to unbox. I spent a total of $150 on this purchase from Shop Goodwill, which is the most I've ever spent on the channel. From the way the pictures looked, this top binder should be full of autograph cards, jersey cards, numbered cards, and, and different cards like that. So we'll save that one for last. And these other two binders should be full at least I'm hoping of complete sets. I obviously don't want to break those sets apart because they obviously lose a lot of their value is non-complete set. So I have set aside some cards from previous unboxings and just some cards I had sitting around to do for the Easter egg giveaway. So we'll continue to do those as always. For instance, here's the first Easter egg in today's video, a Troy Tulowitzki number to 155. That will be the first Easter egg. If you are new to the channel, how Easter eggs work, Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and like this video and be the very first person to comment this card. So in this case, it'd be Troy Tulowitzki Dunruss card in the comment section below and you will win that card and I'll ship it out to you via plain white envelope. Good luck and let's get to the unboxing. So we'll go through these fairly quickly just so I can show you all what um, we got in here. The one thing I will say about selling complete sets, they can be a little bit harder to know exactly what you're going to get for them because typically the market for complete sets is a lot smaller than for individual cards. That being said, I did just look through this entire binder and all of these are complete sets. So that is a really good thing and that should really help the value on these. This first one is 2000 Fleer Greats of the Game set, but we'll go through all of the sets fairly quickly. We will sneak in this Jim Harbaugh Broadway's review is the next Easter egg. Good luck. Some pretty nice cards in here. And that one is out of 107 cards. It does not have any of the um, short print collections in here, though, the Yankee clippings or the retrospective collection. But still, it does have a complete set. One of my favorite players of all time, Stay in the Man, there at the end. Really, really nice card. We'll go ahead and do this. Kyle Lewis, I believe from a couple videos ago, is the next Easter egg. Good luck. I thought these were really cool. These aren't super valuable. I thought they were a really neat thing to have in here. I saw them in the posting originally. But I, I did know before I bought it that they weren't super valuable. They are numbered to 5,000, but they are a postcard set. The New York Yankees, you got Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Elston Howard, Thurman Munson. And then here on the next one, you got Mickey Mantle, Phil Rizzuto, Bill Dickey, Lefty Gomez. For some reason, you've got Pope Paul VI, uh, Jacob Rupert, uh, Roger Maris, and Joe DiMaggio. But I thought that was pretty sweet. I'm going to move these out of the frame. So we can bring this forward. This next set is 2004 Fleer Greats of the Game. And like I said, these are all complete sets. So that is a very nice thing whenever you're going to, to resell these. Here's Bob Gibson, the man himself. Pope Jackson, I like that card a lot. But really overall, just uh, a really nice looking set. It's very clean. I like the different color variations of, of the cards. Like whenever they're wearing like that Willie Stargell um, yellow Pittsburgh Pirates jersey, it just really pops on these, um, these Fleer cards. I like that Ryan Sandberg card as well up there. That is it for the 145 card set. And then this last one in this binder is 2005 Upper Deck Classics set. And this one, honestly, may be the most valuable out of all the sets in here. It's kind of hard to tell because as we'll see at the very end, they did have all of the inserts as well. And so that obviously is going to bump up the value on this set by quite a bit. So it's probably honestly my least favorite looking set out of all of them. That's just my opinion. I just feel like the, the design of the other sets are a little bit more appealing in my opinion. Here's uh, the start of the insert portion of the set, the Star Retro Rookies. 
I do like the inserts quite a bit. Like I like that George Brett card a lot. Got Nolan Ryan right there, Mickey Mantle. Tony Gwynn. But it, it's still a nice set for sure. And that ends that binder. We will do this. Marcus Smart, number to 249 is the next Easter egg. Good luck. All right. And this one's pretty big, so we'll go through it fairly quickly as well. And let's go ahead and do this Dave Justice uh, rookie card here. It's the next Easter egg. Good luck. All right, so for this first one, this is SP uh, Legendary Cuts from 2001. There's Jackie Robinson up there. We do have Mickey Mantle up there, Roger Maris, Reggie Jackson. But that one was out of a 90-card set, and that one didn't have as many sales as some of the others. So that, that one could be a little trickier to know exactly what, what that one's valued at. This next one actually was really surprising, the 2004 Legendary Cuts. The pricing on eBay recent sales was a lot higher, honestly, than I would have expected. I'm not really sure why people are paying up so much for this set, but I'm not complaining. There's Bob Gibson up there again. Got Joe Morgan, Joe Torrey. Boy, he's got a face only a mother can love, that is for sure. There's Jackie Robinson down there. George Brett right there, nice card. It is a very, very clean looking set though, I will say that. There's Ozzie Smith, Nolan Ryan up there. This Julio Rodriguez up and coming will be the next Easter egg, good luck. There's Roberto Clemente down at the corner. Roger Maris. Got Whitey Ford there in the middle. And that is it for that set. That was out of 126 cards. And I believe we still have three more sets in this binder. So let's go ahead and do the next Easter egg real quick. This Miguel Andrar, rated rookie yellow and red. Next card there. This is a complete set of 2001 Upper Deck Legends of New York. This is a rather sought after set from that era. Um, it, it's just a really nice looking set. They've got some cool felt um, emblems. The, the logos are in like this cool felt material. Really cool. There's Jackie Robinson right there. Duke Snyder as well. Just a really, really nice looking set. I'm a big fan of it. And I do understand why they're so sought after. Um, it, it, it definitely makes sense <laughs> to me whenever you're looking at some of the other sets from this era. Um, this has gotta be one of the top ones for sure to go after. There's, you got uh, Gehrig and Mantle, Reggie Jackson, Thurman Munson down here, Maris. Got some Babe Ruth cards over here. A few more ba Babe Ruth, Mantle, Reggie Jackson, Joe DiMaggio up there. Really cool cards. And this is a fairly big set. I believe it's out of 200 cards. Um... We'll confirm that here in a second, but I believe it is out of, yeah, out of 200, but really nice set there. We're going to go ahead and do this. Shohei Otani is the next Easter egg. This is one that I remember very, very well. It was kind of at the tail end of my collecting career um, back in the mid to, to late 2000s, but this was a really, really nice set. Turkey Red um, back in 2007, and this is also a complete set as well. There's Mickey Mantle up there. Got Barry Bonds up there. Andrew Miller, rated rookie.
You got Mantle in, there in the middle. Oh, got Tin Lincecum, uh, rated rookie there. Dallas Braden up there, both rated rookies. Mickey Mantle down there. Dice K, Matsuzaka, rated rookie. Um, Hunter Pence, rated rookie. And that is all out of that 186 card complete set. And this is the last complete set of this unboxing. But before we do that, let's go ahead and give away this Kenneth Walker rookie card is the next one in the giveaway. Also, make sure to stick around for the overall giveaway as well. We've got a lot of good stuff um, to give away in that. And we'll add to it whenever we go through the autograph binder as well. So this is Dunruff's Hall of Fame Heroes from 1983. And this is the complete set as well. This is a little bit smaller of a complete set. These smaller sets are a little easier to sell as well. So it makes it a little easier to price them out and know what you're you're gonna make from them. But yeah, that, that's only a 43 card set. All of them are in there. And honestly, every set looks really good. So I was very pleased with that. And let's go ahead and get straight in to the autograph binder once we give away this Tom Brady as the next Easter egg. And this is what we're all waiting for. This binder right here should be full of autographs, inserts, jersey cards, things alike. So let's get into it right after we give away this Bernie Williams is next Easter egg. Good luck. Let's go ahead and do a quick overall giveaway of these three cards. So we have a Walter Payton 1986 card, a Trey Turner Bowman to 99, and then this Phoenix uh, rookie card number to 75 of Arnold Abekiti. I think I pronounced that right. But <laughs> in either case, how to enter. As always, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below who you think is going to win this year's World Series. Good luck, and let's finish this unboxing. All right, I'm very excited to see what all we have. Unfortunately, the binder is a little broken, but take a look at this. This first page was on one of the, the pictures in the listing. I did see this uh, Evan LaGoya patch auto down here. And then obviously the Jason Bay auto, John Lackey, Brad Penny, Tony Clark. Got, got some really good cards there. Um, Adam Jones, can't believe I almost missed that. That's a nice card there. Very, very nice. Uh, first page to start off on. I also could see this page in the listing as well. A Jose Guillen auto there, and then a Mark Kotze and a Ray Knight. I believe this is the last page in the binder that I could see, but I did see that, and I thought that was going to be the one of one, but unfortunately, I believe that's going to be the one out of a hundred, but still a really nice page of cards there. Some very resellable cards. Um, here on this next page, what do we have? Okay. We've got a nice Brian Ruscio um, out of 99 Bowman first uh, chrome card there. Jeff Kent in the gap. Really nice. That Brad Penny is number to 100. All right, who do we have here? Oh, Rafael Palmero, auto up there. Rondell White, Jeff Jenkins over here. All right, there we go. Demetri Young and Eric Young. Ooh, Frank, Big Hurt, Tino Martinez, what's that, huh, box score debut, that's a cool card, let's go ahead and give away this shack as the next Easter egg, good luck, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and give away this Kendall Voles, USA Baseball, number to 149 is the next Easter egg in today's video, good luck, all right, oh, here we go, Classic Confrontations, Mariano Rivera and Nomar Garciaparra. I like that a lot. Nice. There's obviously Chris Young. Ooh, what do we have here? Jonathan Papelbon auto. Nice. And up, oh, you know, Escobar. Here we go. Drew Pomeranz, RPA there. And we have a Manny game used bat. Nice. What is that number to? 75. Steven Drew, number 99. Auto, and then his brother, J.D. Drew, auto as well. A couple of Travis Hafner, uh, game-used bat, game-used jersey cards. Chris Carpenter, game-used jersey, nice. 
Let's go ahead and give away this Josh Beckett is the next one in today's video. Good luck. Billy Butler auto, nice. Chad Billingsley auto. Ton of autos, nothing too crazy yet. Hopefully there's something coming up. We'll see. Is that a 1966 Tito Francona, I believe? Nice. Carlton Fisk. You know what? Let's go ahead and give away this Daniel Nava auto is the next one in today's video. Good luck. There's some pretty sweet cards. I don't know if these are worth a whole lot, but that Tom Seaver was really nice. Got Lance Berkman and Troy Gloss. Lando Arcia down here, number 250 rookie card. Oh, Derek Jeter, Flair Showcase Power. That is a very nice card. You Darvish, Top's Finest rookie. There we go. Some very cool Roberto Clemente cards there. All right, and that is it, unfortunately. I'm definitely not disappointed, but I did expect there to be more in this unboxing, especially in this binder. We should definitely be able to turn a pretty substantial profit with the cards out of here. I'll let you know whenever I edit where we're at money-wise. That being said, I appreciate all of you watching till the very end. And let's go ahead and do this. Adam Lowen is the last Easter egg in today's video. Good luck, and we'll see you next time. Peace.